Give thanks to God for giving you a new responsibility. Father, we thank you. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us the grace to witness the first Sunday service in this very year, 2022. Thank you for forgiving us our sins, and thank you for giving us the grace to walk with you. It is a privilege. Thank you for commanding this very year, 2022, to favor your children. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Turn your Bibles to the book of Galatians chapter 5. We are going to start reading from the beginning to the end. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. And do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Indeed, I, Paul, said to you that if you become circumcised, Christ will profit you nothing. And I testify again to every man who becomes circumcised that he is a debtor to keep the whole law. You have become entangled from Christ. You who attempt to be justified by law, you have fallen from grace. For we, through the Spirit, take note of the capital letter there that begins the spelling of Spirit, the capital letter S. For we, through the Spirit, eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything but faith working through love. Did you hear that? You ran well. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? This persuasion does not come from him who calls you. A little living leavens the whole lamb. I have confidence in you, in the Lord, that you will have no other mind, but he who troubles you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he is. And I, brethren, if I still preach circumcision, why do I still suffer persecution? Then the offense of the cross has ceased. I could wish that those who trouble you would even cut themselves off. For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. Even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite, take note of this, verses 15. But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. I say then the way out has been provided here from verses 16 of Galatians chapter 5. I say then, walk in the spirit. Take note of the spelling of the word spirit. You can see the capital letter S there. Verses 16. I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the last of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, 
idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, reveries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. And those who are Christ's have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, envying one another. Our message, walk with God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. How can one be said to be walking with God? Who is he that walks with God? The one who puts the spoken word of God into practice is the one that is said to be walking with God. One is said to be walking with God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. When one puts the words and instructions of God into practice, your obedience reveals your genuine love for God. Your obedience to the word of God reveals your genuine love of God. This is the year 2022. The year with a new responsibility given to everyone on the surface of the earth to walk with God. To walk with Jesus Christ and to walk with the Holy Spirit. If one is a church goer, a member of any church, without the ability to put the word of God into practice, one can be said to be someone who is walking with Satan. Abraham walked with God and obeyed his given instructions. His obedience to the word of God and instructions of the Spirit of God made him the father of blessings. Obedience to the living word of God is the key to open the doors of God's blessings in your life. It is God's will to bless his children. However, the children of God must play their role. Can two walk together unless they agree? The answer is no. This is a year that everyone is called to walk with God. If you are looking for God, look for the word of God. God and his word are one. Begin the year 2022 with God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit by studying your Bible with an obedient spirit. How many times have you read your Bible? Peter wanted blessings and he had Jesus in the boat. The blessings were not given until he listened to the word and put the words into practice. How many times have you paid attention to the words and promises of God for your life? This is very important in this very year, 2022. If you want to know God, know him through his word and by his spirit. Worries were not carried over to the year 2022. Fear was not carried over to the year 2022. Memories of your past setback, failures, and the like 
were not carried over to the year 2022. Peter acted on the word and he got the blessings. Those who put the word of God into practice in this year 2022 will eat the fruit of the land. There is always blessing available to the obedient. Father, give them the grace Amen. to walk with you. Amen. Give them the grace to live a life without sins and sinful desires. Amen. Give them the grace to receive their blessings. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Give thanks to God for giving you the grace. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Right now, I stretch my hands with all authority given to me by God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I command your heart, your soul, and your body to walk with God. Amen. I command your mind and conscience to walk with God. I command your career, your marriage, your destiny, and everything about you to walk with God. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You, Satan, they are walking with God. They are not walking with you. Why are you running after them? You are not carried over to the year 2022. I command you, Satan. Lucifer, Fire. serpent, Fire. poverty, Fire. sickness, Fire. disease, Fire. sudden death, Fire. to be captured and destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Fire! Same fire to them. You need to bring your home together. There is division. And you can play the role to bring everybody together. That is why I'm giving you the message. Amen. Bring your home together. Amen. There is division. You must not allow that division to be carried over. This Amen. is another year. Amen. You are welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministries in Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what you do for a living. My name is Chijok Mweke. I am from Enugu State. Retired civil servant. The man of God walked up to you today and prophesied to you. What was his words of prophecy to you, sir? The servant of God walked to me and gave me two prophecies. One is that uh, I should put my house in order. Two that is I should learn how to forgive. They are hundred percent true. Oh, so you can confirm the words of the prophecy of the man of God, Christopher Jude, will be hundred percent true. If there is anything more than hundred percent, it is. Okay, so what can you tell us about what he talked about the bringing your house in order? You see, when I had opportunities, when I was in active, uh, my late senior brother had children which he couldn't train. And I trained almost all of them, virtually up to seven, seven of them in universities, one a lawyer, and one is married to somebody in the U.S. So all forgot about me. All of them forgot me. So this year, this December period, I've written them off, and I'll have nothing to do with them. Eventually, even the one in overseas, when he sent me Happy New Year, I didn't reply. The husband sent me Merry Christmas. It took me time to reply. So that's why I've said I'm confirming it to be true. Amen. Now that the man of God, Christopher Oji, God has used him to reveal the root cause of your problem, what is your promise to God? I promise to surrender my life to him, forgive them, and follow the way of Jesus Christ. Amen. We rejoice with you, sir. This period and this season is a season of restoration. We ask you to go do exactly the word of God, study the word of God, so that you can grow more in it. And it will form the foundation of your life as you obey God in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
You need to learn how to accommodate. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. You need to learn how to accommodate. I am seeing some people becoming very far okay, sir. for several reasons. They can still help you. Okay, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Learn to accommodate. Learn to forgive. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, you are welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministry. In Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what you do for a living. My name is Lazarus Ongolo from Bayasa State, but I reside in Enugu here, a civil servant. Okay. Today is the first Sunday of the year. The man of God walked up to you and prophesied to you. So what was his prophetic message? He said I should accommodate people, that they will help me. So in the area of accommodate people is, normally I don't like associate with people. I don't like to play, go out with people to do things because of the way they do things. You know, if you follow some certain people to do some certain things, when they get angry or get misunderstood with you, it is, very, it is not easy, easy for them to forgive you. So I like to associate myself with people in order not to have crisis or problem with people. Then he said, in terms of people who help me, yes, Last year, March, a House of Representative from my own place sent a letter, a letter of recommendation to an organization, which is agency. He sent it, and the PA told me that the letter has been sent, but up to now, I've not heard anything from them. Then, November, October, I came here. There was a deliverance, which he prayed for me. Then, November, I was connected to a senator. Then he asked me to come and collect a letter of recommendation to an agency, which on 29th of November, I sent that letter to the ministry where he wrote the letter. I have not got any information from them. So, Bindi said that even in custom, I've sent a document to someone in order to help me. The prophecy is true. Okay, since you have confirmed the words of the prophecy of the man of God, Christopher Oji, to be true, we want to ask you, your promise to God, because we know that this season is a season of forgiveness. This season is a season of restoration. As an as the man of God told you to forgive people, to associate with people, and you've also confirmed that you are someone that restricts yourself from people. The word of God has come unto you for the salvation of your soul. So, what is your promise to God? My promise to God is to mix with people, but not any and anyone. But to serve God, I ask for the grace to serve him in truth and in spirit this year. Amen. We ask you to go, stay away from all manner of sin and sinful desires so that the weight of the prophecy will come true in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There is a generational curse in the family. Yes. Yes. I'm looking at sudden death and I'm looking at disappointment. Pray against that. God deliver us. God. Madam, you're welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministries in Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what you do for a living. My name is Evelyn Simon. I'm from Cross River State. I'm a teacher by profession. Okay, coming from Cross River State all the way to the City of Jesus International Ministries, and God located you through the servant of God, Christopher Oji. Can you tell us the words of prophecy he gave to you? Man of God, Christopher Oji, walked to me and told me that I have generational causes, that there's generational causes in my family which I confirm it to be very, very true. Because when we were small, you know, as children, that period, we don't even know what our forefathers were worshipping. And sometimes they would take us to a place and they call it, that is our grandfather's compound. And they would do little things like that, like coconut, granite, and they would share with us as children. We don't even know that those things have negative impact we don't even know as children. So at a point, our grandfather died and those things were not going on again. And we, as we grow up, we embrace God. And we never knew that you cannot embrace God like that without deliverance. Madam, you mean you were initiated when you were small 
into ancestral spirit by your forefather. Yes. Now that the word of God has come to you in form of prophetic message, what is your promise to God? I promise God to serve him with everything I have, my life, my soul, everything to the rest of my life. Amen. Madam, we advise you to study the word of God, to allow the word of God to grow in your spirit because it is this same word that will carry you through because the word of God is God himself. It will grow in your spirit. Allow it to form the foundation of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for locating me. Let your repentance be genuine. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your good part is greater than the other side. Yes, sir. So let your repentance be complete. Yes, sir. Pray for where you're going. Yes, I'm seeing a journey. Yes, sir. And the debts are cancelled. Amen. So you're welcome to the City of Jesus International Mission, in Jesus' name. Yeah, thank you very much. Kindly tell us your name, where you come from, and the words of prophecy you receive from God's servants. Okay, my name is uh, Mr. Ofem Owai, uh, originally from Cross River State, but I based in Ebony State. The prophecy given to me by the servant of the Most High God, um, it vividly said that um, I'm embarking on a journey to my place where I'm trying to put up a, a structure. And I also, also pray against uh, untimely the debt. And also that uh, my goods in the past are greater than now. And I also he said that uh, let my repentance be really be genuine so that the things of God can be the things of God in my spirit and soul. I have not been much focused in the things of God. Yes, by reading the word correctly and imbibing me in the word. I believe that is the area I'm seeing, and that aspect of it, and I have to know God, I have to go deeply, at least, to seek God. There's a little distraction for where I want to put up that structure, because my own father, and other uncles, and uh, one of our uh, family relations is also coming up by dragging the piece of arm. But I told them, at least this is my grandfather that owns the place. I have to go in because I was living with him until he passed on. So where will he come from and start dragging the place? So there has been a meeting upon meeting. It was yesterday my father called me that they have resolved the only show that a different place has been given to me. I said, God, thank you. But uh, why this professor coming? Uh, I believe there is a purpose. So I have to go deeply and receive God. That I also, as I'm begging on that journey, God should go before me. That is the reason why I'm here. At least this is my first time of being here. Through the whole night, so this is my second day. And I give God the glory for this wonderful prophecy. I've never had one like this before. Yes. So I have to say it. At least the servant of God is there. Because we seek and we shall find. And that is why we are here. To seek and find the grace of God. Thank you very much. We bless God, sir. We pray that God Almighty, who has revealed this wonderful prophecy, we redeem your life and bless you abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray also that you make the word of God the foundation of your life so that you can genuinely walk with God in this year, 2022, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray against pride. The challenges with your health have been taken care of by God. In other words, you did not carry over. You are free already. Amen. Madam, you are welcome to the City of Jesus International Mission in Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and the prophecy the man of God gave you. My name is Ngozi Okeze. I'm from Amage, Okunano. The prophecy man of God gives to me is the spirit of against manifest that in the water. Madam, you mean he gave you a prophecy that you're having manifestation in the water and the spirit of pride? Yes. So how can he confirm it to be true in your life? Yes, it's true. Because 
from my marriage, then I confirm that is true. So you mean you are having issue in your marriage? Yes. For how long? For three years now. So you are confirming that this prophecy that the man of God, Christopher, already gave you is true in your life? Yes, it's true. What do you believe that this prophecy has brought into your life and your marriage? Yes, I believe that God has done it in my life and in my marriage from today. Upward things will change, and God will, will put hands in my marriage. Yes, like the man of God said, we are walking with God this day. And we pray that you will be restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Your problem is anger. You are not supposed to carry it over. I'm saying it because something happened. So you need to stay away from that. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't clean spirit causing her anger. Fear! A wicked spiritual husband. Fear! Fear! Leave her heart, her marriage, and her career. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is a being hiding that is causing her anger. That should not be carried over. Madam, you're welcome to the City of Jesus International Mission in Jesus' name. Amen. Kindly tell us your name, where you come from, and the words of prophecy you received from the man of God, Christopher Oji. My name is Doris Jude. I'm from Benugu here. I'm a banker. Uh, the man of God walked to me and prophesied that my problem is anger, that I should not carry it over. That is really affecting my life. So I confirmed the prophecy to be 100% true. Because me, personally, I know that I have this anger and I've been praying about it. So it's affected me in so many ways, especially in my relationships, even in my workplace, people do complain about it. And today I came and the man of God said it. I'm so happy that I have been delivered. Indeed, you have come and you have conquered. We all know that God does not permit us to carry over our anger, especially in this year that we are working with God. So what is your promise to God going forward? I promise God that I will not go back again. I will serve him all the rest of my life in Jesus' name. May it be so in your life in Jesus' name. We equally pray with you, and we know that the Lord Almighty who has revealed we give you the strength and grace to overcome this spirit of anger in Jesus' name. And as you go, we make the word of God the foundation of your life so that all shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for delivering me. You are here now. Will you also be in the presence of God? Will you continue to be? Yes, sir. Or you just came. This is New Year. Let me witness the first service and then... You come anytime you want. I will continue to be, sir. You have to repent. Did you hear what I said? Yes, sir. You are called to walk with God, not Satan. Satan has his own fruit. God has his own fruit, fruit of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So you are welcome to the City of Jesus International Mission, Jesus' name. Amen. And they tell us your name, where you come from. And the words of prophecy you received from the man of God, Christopher Oji. My name is Michael Mwabezi. I'm from Enugu by Basin, Lagos. I received a prophecy that uh, through the man of God, he said to me that I'm here in the presence of God. We are also be in this presence of God that I'm called to walk with God. That the fruit of God is different from the fruit of Satan. That I should repent. I Confirm the word of prophecy to be true because uh, there are so many places also they have told me that I am called to work for God. But uh, actually, I, don't, I, I think I'm living in, in sin of disobedience because I don't want to really do anything that has to do with pastor work. So I, I'm like, I want to make money first before... How we do the things of God. So we all know that your story is likened to the story of Jonah when he was sent to Nineveh. We all know what happened to Jonah and how Jonah heeded the voice of God. So what is your promise now that this problem has been lifted up from your shoulder? 
Well, I'm very happy because even yesterday night, I have been thinking of it that I want man of God to give me word, that the word he will give to me is what I will follow, I will know that it's truly from God. So my decision now is to work for God. We pray that God Almighty will give you the strength and the grace to walk in his vineyard in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Make sure you don't have alternative. You went to a place in the past, and the life you lived in the past was not good enough. Don't carry them over to this year. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The reason is because I'm still seeing you going to a strange place this year, and the place is ungodly. Repent. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Stay away. Thank you, Jesus. Madam, you are welcome to the City of Jesus International Mission, Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. What is your name and the prophecy received from the man of God, Christopher Hodge? My name is Rose Henry. I'm from Cross River State. The prophecy given to me by the man of God is that the life I live in the past is not good, that I should change. I should turn away from the life I live in the past. The prophecy is very true because I was sick. And they took me to a place, a native doctor place, that they say if uh, I go there, I will be healed and I will be safe. So when we went there, now, they gave me some treatment, but the thing, I was not okay. The thing still continued. So my friend came again that this year, we should go again to another place and wish the man of God saw it again, that I should not go to that place again. I should not follow anybody to that place so that... I will be free. Madam, are you trying to confirm that you went to a herbalist house or a spiritualist? Yes, but I went there, the, the sickness did not go, the things still continue. Can you tell us who is the person that heals and delivers? It's God Almighty. We are happy that you have confessed with your mother that Jesus is your personal healer and savior. So what is your promise going forward? I promise God that I will not go back to any, anywhere again. I will only follow him and worship him and read the word and make the word of God the standard of my life. Madam, did you receive prayers as well from the man of God? Yes. So what do you believe that these prayers have done in your life? I believe that the prayers have really healed me from the sickness that I am suffering for, that is taking me to all those wrong places. We bless God that your healing will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. And you go and make the word of God the foundation of your life. And as well, we encourage you to bring your friend to the house of God because it is only the house of God that you can receive light. And light conquers and dispel every form of darkness. We are happy that God has restored all that concerns you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So learn to take life easy and learn to be patient. Yes. I'm looking at issues that will crop up. Not now, not before. Issues that will crop up where you're working. If you're not patient enough, you will just quit. And when you quit, to get another one will be very difficult. So don't let that happen to you. You have a good heart. That should be for God. Patience is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Learn yes, to be sir. patient. Yes, sir. Madam, you are welcome to the City of Jesus Christ International Ministry. Please, may we know your name? My name is Amelie Kone. I came from Troy, Alabama, United States. You are welcome, ma'am. During the course of the prayer, you received a word of prophecy from the man of God. Can you tell us more about the prophecy? Yes, man of God says that I should take life easy um, to be patient over issues that is seeing something from the past um, popping up in my workplace that I should not give up. Uh, that if I leave, it's going to be difficult for me to find another job. Madam, how can you confirm this prophecy in your life? I confirm it to be perfectly true. Because it's this thing I was facing since I've been hired. And 
I've been praying about it. Even yesterday night, I was asking God that I want to know his mind because I have made up my mind to leave um, this year, 2020. And I'm happy that God has brought his light to direct me. He's given me confidence that he's under control of everything. And I will stay and continue trusting in God. What is your promise to God from this prophecy you received today from the man of God? My promise is that I will stay and I will trust God. Whatever is come or I will face, I know God will be with me. Now we encourage you to make the word of God the foundation of your life so that this prophecy you receive today will take you to a greater height in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Stay away from fear. That is your major problem. You have spirit of fear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Shalom. You are welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministry. Please, may we know your name, what you do for a living, and where you come from. My name is uh, Udebenet. I'm from Enugu State. I'm into construction. During the course of the prayer, you received a word of prophecy from the man of God. Please, can you throw more light about the prophecy? Yes. The man of God said that uh, my major problem is uh, fear, that I have a spirit of fear. Yes, I confirm the prophecy to be truth, 100% true. Yes, yesterday I received a phone call from my community. One of my town men, he told me that I should not come home today because there is a awardee night we are having today. So I'm one of the organizers about the, our S prayers, the legend. We are having an awardee night today. So he said that I should not attend that uh, uh, award night, that he had a bad dream about me, that uh, the dream is not uh, palatable, that I should not attend it. Uh, I said uh, that I have a, a lot of uh, role to pray in that uh, award night. He said I should not try and visit home today. So I said, okay, that I will not come. So I thank God so much that this uh, prophecy came today. I'm confirming it to be 100% true that uh, I had a, a spirit of fear in me. Now, what is your decision towards that prophecy that you had the spirit of fear in you? Yeah, my decision is that uh, I will trust God. And uh, my prayer is that, that this uh, prayer will deliver me from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. We encourage you to make the word of God the foundation of your life so that this decision of you not being able to doubt and begin to fear will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm delivered. Same fire to them. Same fire to them. Same fire to them. Take it easy with properties. I'm looking at family lands. You should be very careful. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, you are welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministry. Please, may we know your name, where you come from, and what you do for a living? My name is Emeka Aka. I'm from Enugu State. I work with insurance company. During the course of the prayer, I received a word of prophecy from the man of God. Please, can you tell us what the prophecy is all about? Uh, he said I should take it easy with property. That he's seeing farmland issues. Okay, so how can you confirm this prophecy to be true in your life? It is true. Uh, this very land we are talking about is our family land. And uh, we are not at home. We are always outside with my brothers. So my mother was taking care of the land. When my mother got sick, my senior brother told his uh, uh, in-law to go and take care of the land. Okay, the woman can no longer farm. One of the relations said that let him manage the land, that they don't have land to farm. It's okay, take it without our... But the, the woman did it inform us. So after years, we said, let us go and check our lands. Let us see what happened because we're not at home. We find out somebody was farming in that land. When my senior brother went to the place, are you farming that? He said, he said, he said the land belonged to him, that he was farming the land for years, that he's taking that land. That is the issue we have there now. As, not as far as I step into this uh, arena, 
and uh, God uh, revealed to a man of God. I'm a winner. So what is your decision now, henceforth, from this prophecy given to you? Well, I've handed everything to God. I know someone with God is the winner. Like the man of God always said, uh, one with God is a spiritual majority. If truly you are with God, you are a winner. So we encourage you to make God's word the foundation of your life so that whatever the case may be, at the end, you will surely and definitely win in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Madam, you argue too much. That should not be carried over. That affected you last year, and that should not be repeated. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. Your problems are over. Thank you, Jesus. You have strange character that is affecting you, especially your relationship. So you need to stay away from that. You gossip a lot. And you also have spirit of unforgiveness and anger. You need to do away with that because you can't walk with God with this kind of spirit. Madam, you are welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministries in Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what you do for a living. I'm uh, Mrs. Uh, Christiana Ndubisi. I'm a businesswoman. I'm from here, Enugu, and I live in Lagos. Tell us the person standing next to you. It's my daughter, Chika. The man of God prophesied to you during the course of prayer today. Please, can you tell us his words of prophecy to you? The man of God said that I might give too much, and uh, I confirmed it through because of the health of my late mother. Last year, my mother started fall sick, so we carry her to many hospitals. There's no avail. I told my brother that after they will come back, this one said that there's no money, that they don't spend too much. So I said that there's no money, that they spend too much. That's why I started to uh, argue with them. Later on, my mother died on 2nd uh, November. Okay, so that's why you were angry? Yes. Okay. The issue is not a matter of what you said now, you live a life of argument. That is the point. God wants you to repent. May God forgive me, man of God. That is not the only issue. It's not just because of the incident. You live a life of argument. There are many other issues you have been arguing blindly. And you know it's not good for a child of God. The Bible advises us to leave issues with God. Let your yes be yes, and let your no be no. Learn to live a life without argument. Did you hear what I said, madam? I hear, man of God. Madam, let's hear from your daughter. Sister, you're welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministries in Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name, where you come from, what you do for a living, and the person standing beside you. Okay, my name is Agu Chikodli, and this is my mother, and um, I'm from Enugu State, but we live in Lagos. Okay, during the course of prayer, the man of God prophesied to you as well. We'd like to know what the prophetic message was. Okay, um, the man of God said that um, I have a strange character, and um, that's affecting me and my relationship, and that um, I gossip a lot, um, have spirits of anger and then unforgiveness so that I cannot um, walk in the way of the Lord with that kind of character that I need to change. Okay, how can you confirm these words of prophecy to be true to your life? I confirm the word of prophecy to be true because I always get very angry, very easily. Little things make me very, very angry, and I talk about it for a very, very long time before I let go, and I keep bringing it back whenever there is any issue. I keep bringing the issue back again to talk about it, so that's what has been happening anyway. Okay, the man of God spoke about your mother being argumentative in a lot of things. Can you say something about it? Okay, um, in regards to that, um, it's true. Um, because most of the time, we argue with our mom about one or two things. And uh, we're always arguing on how to agree on one or two things. You know? So a lot of people would think differently. So we just want to, uh, want to be heard. So that's the issue sometimes. 
All right. Now that the words of the prophecy of the man of God has come to you, it has come to reveal the root cause of your problems, meaning that God has stepped into your problem. It is coming to you for the salvation of your soul. So we advise you to stay away from all manner of sins and sinful desires. Anger is of Satan. Unforgiveness is of Satan. Remember that God himself is forgiveness. So we advise you to repent truly. Study the word of God. Allow the word of God to live in your heart so that it will keep your heart pure, santify your heart, and justify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are addicted. You are taking something. For alcohol. And you are here. Oh, God. Save me. What is your decision? I want to stop it. What do you want to stop? Alcohol. Many of you are like that. This is New Year. And you are still carrying over the former addiction. If Satan wants to kill you, he will not come physically to do that. He has to enter you and give you bad habits. You can just find yourself smoking then he will use cancer to kill you. You can just find yourself drinking alcohol and you will use poison and other sicknesses and diseases to attack your destiny, your kidney, your liver, and destroy you. He can just give you a spirit of immorality and use that to share incurable sicknesses and diseases to you. Repent. This is another year. So what is your decision now? To stop it, pray for me. Not only alcohol. I... Stay away from immorality. Did you hear what I said now? Yes. Don't say man of God only fetched out alcohol. The other one I will continue. He did not see deep enough. No, I feel that one, but I don't that I did it, but I always feel it in me. You always feel it in you. Yeah. But you were driven to act. And I'm looking at you acting. You still want to cover it up here. Repent. So you're welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministries in Jesus' name. Amen. Please tell us your name, where you come from, and what you do for a living. My name is Igwe Simano Friday. I'm from Enugu State here. I'm a businessman living in abroad. Okay. The man of God, Christopher Oji, walked up to you this very first Sunday of the year, and he gave you a prophetic message. What was his exact words to you? Yeah. The man of God walked to me, and they gave me two prophecies, which... I always pray to God to deliver me from it. Uh, one is the uh, spirit of alcohol. Not that if I drink, I miss beer, but I want to stop it because they have seized my driving license for international driving license two times over there. And it's giving me a lot of concern. Because every time they seize the, uh, the international driving license, it will make my business to go low. I can't move because it can't drive. Understand me? So... I confirm that prophecy to be true. That spirit of alcohol is me. Okay, please, can you tell us the country where you reside, where you said your international passport has been seized as a result of the alcoholism that the man of God prophesied about today? I live in Italy. Okay, you live in Italy. We want to ask you, what was the second prophecy he gave to you? Because you said there are two. The other one is that I have spirit of immorality. Yeah, you see... Uh, I was there for many years back. I married in Nigeria. I brought my wife over there. I have kids. But for some years back, about 10 years ago, 2011, they located to back to Nigeria but with my kids. So you know when man is living alone, sometimes I have that feeling, the urge of, you know, to take another woman, understand, where I'm living alone. Or sometimes... I was still having that thought in me. What of if people see me with such thing and later my wife get to know? You know, such thing is my problem. People will be asking me, what of your wife? Why do you take your wife there? You're taking your wife back to Nigeria because you want to be taking other guests here. You know, a lot of them, you know, evil works with people, through people. They can convince you to do what you don't want to do. The thought will start coming to me to do it, to, you know, to check someone else to do, have it with her. So you know that every word of God is true. And they come to you to redeem you for the salvation of your soul. We want to ask you, since you've started taking the alcohol, since you've started moving around with girls, 
engaging yourself with lustfulness. What have you accomplished since that time? Woman, woman, there, there, is, there is something in nature that they call it sangue suka. It's like drawing blood. It don't, it don't go with woman with empty handed. You have, your pocket must be full before woman will accept you. So you mean you have not achieved anything out of it. Rather, it's been destroying your life from the inside. Yes, because the same thing goes with the alcohol. Because when they came, you need to take them to a bar, restaurant, and everything. And they must still take the alcohol. Thank God that the prophecy came to me. Because this morning, I even take alcohol. I came back from it to yesterday. Because I promised my God that immediately I stepped down to Nigeria. Then I went to the village. But you know, Nigeria, village, in the morning, people have already started visiting you. And when they came, you bring something for them, you need to test it too. So this is the year to walk with God, Jesus Christ, and Holy Spirit. As the man of God, Christopher Orji, declared, what is your decision now and here? Because now that the prophetic message has come to you, it has brought something to your life. But we want you to tell us your decision. My decision is to stop it real. To even, even all these things, but the other side of women, because my business, I want God to even from those people coming to me on my own business side, because them are my customers, that they, their mind will not go in to discuss anything nonsense with me in Jesus' name. Sir, we want you to remain in God by staying away from all manner of sins and sinful desires. God's word is God himself who advise you to take in the word of God in your life, in your spirit. Allow the word of God to dwell inside of you because it is the word of God according to the servant of God, Christopher Oji, that will keep you pure, sanctify you, and justify you. So we ask you to do so so that the word of God, same, will form the foundation of your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Shalom. Man of God, this my leg is paining me since I came back from the village. The attack is not coming from village and it's not coming from villagers. Thank you. It's just stress and you will be okay. Thank you, man of God. You have not seen anything. You are moving forward. Amen. Not, not backward. Thank you, man of God. I'm Amen. seeing you moving from the level you are to another level. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Sir, you are welcome to the City of Jesus International Ministry. Please, may we know your name? What do you do for a living and where you come from? My name is Patrick Osita Ono. I'm from Enugu State, and then um, I'm a public servant. During the course of prayer today, you receive a word of prophecy from the man of God. Please, can you tell us more about that prophecy? Yeah, the prophecy goes this way. Um, while man of God was going around and praying for people, and he came to me to pray for me as well, while he was doing the prayers, and I quickly told him, please, man of God, um, one of my leg, this my left leg, has been paining me since I came back from the village. Because actually, I went to the village during this Christmas period. I lost one of my younger brother in Lagos, and then um, I came here. Man of God as well prayed for me and then told me I should go. I will go peacefully and come back peacefully and everything is going to go well. Of which, and I did. And in fact, I've never seen a celebration of this kind that I actually had to go. God blessed me from different ways. I never lacked to uh, kind of do the burial. At the end of the day, all the people I called to help me organize or get this for me, get that, cook, so, 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 number of uh, whatever. They just, everything was just delivered, very sharp and sweet. At the end of the day, we did the burial and everything went so smooth and fine. So, and I noticed that this, my leg was spinning me. I quickly told man of God about it. And he told me that this is not as a result of village or not as a result of any other thing. That is all about stress. Not even just that. A man of God went ahead again to tell me that um, he seen me moving higher than where I am. And to be honest with you, I cue in into that prophecy and to the word that came out from the man of God that he seen me moving higher. At this first 
Sunday of January 2022. I receive it totally in Jesus' name. What was your initial belief from the leg pain you are having? My initial belief was, of course, someone who went to the village and, of course, you came back and then uh, a lot of people comes around. You don't know who is happy. You don't know who is not happy. But people just comes around, those that will come and hug and all that. So, and then, uh, in fact, inside my own mind, I felt maybe, <laughs> I don't know whether somebody must have actually dropped something. And I matched it, you know, my own feeble mind. So, and I just have to use that same mind. And I told man of God, and he told me, no, this is not from village anything. That is it's all about stress. And I believed in what man of God said. Yes, I passed through a lot of stress within all this period, this December festive period and all that. And I queued into it, and I'm so happy that this word has actually delivered me. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Sir, this is the year 2022, the year of God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. We encourage you to remain steadfast in the word of God. Make the word of God the foundation of your life. So all these good prophecies that came from the throne of grace will materialize in the nearest future, in the life of your family, and all that has to do with you, in Jesus' name. Amen! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus! Amen. Amen.